Hi everyone, this is Hibba from My Little Journal and today I'm going to be working in my Ramadan journal and I'm going to work on day 13, 14, and 15. Now this traveler's notebook is not going to fit the whole 30 days so I'm going to half my like days. This traveler's notebook is only going to fit 15 and then I will be starting a new one to finish off the 30 days. So both TNs will have 15 days on there, if that makes sense, or 15 layouts. Anyways, um, we're gonna start working on day 13, which was, I think it was prayer and dua. So I'm going to be documenting this dua from one of the apps that I use, and it shares a dua, which is a prayer from the Quran each day of Ramadan. So what I did was I printed it out, and now I'm going to be using the stamp set from the Ramadan kit from the paper person shop to stamp the little lanterns on the side. I had kind of a vision where I had the lanterns, I would stamp du'as and then maybe the Quran from the stamp set and then just add a pinch of color using some of the paper from the kit. So because these papers are traveler's notebook sizes, it's a four by eight, I'm going to trim it down and just use some of it to cover the left side of the spread. And that way I can bring in some of the blue from my photo and also it gives me some space to journal and like it backs up my journaling with a really pretty pattern. So I'm going to go ahead, stick that down and I'm going to grab these alpha stamps from the, from Studio Calico and I'm going to stamp the dua, but I'm going to stamp like two letters above each other fill them out with some gray ink and I'll also stamp praying right underneath that underneath my title using the Ramadan stamp set. I'm going to stamp the Quran as well right underneath that. So I have like a little column of stamping and if you guys have been watching me for a while you know I love columns. I love stamping in columns and creating columns with stamping. It's just something I really love and I feel like it's visually interesting if that makes sense. I also wanted to add a little something to my pattern paper, so I thought I would stamp out the prayer rug and add that to my pattern, but I felt like it was just sitting there and it needed something, so I remembered I had a card with labels. This, I believe, is also from the paper person shop. I'm going to trim out the purple label and back up my prayer rug with it. Just adds a little something and then my rug doesn't look like it's just floating, if that makes sense. And I'm gonna stamp a reading in that label. I will also be adding the lines to my lanterns. Um, I add lines and just like little light lines, if that makes sense. It just kind of adds some interest to those lanterns especially that they're supposed to be like hanging from the ceiling. I finish up the spread by filling out du'as with the inline alpha stamp from Studio Calico and then I'm going to stamp the day which is day 13. I'm going to end up stamping it on my pattern paper. I'm trying to keep up with the numbers to make sure that I kind of remember what journaling day I'm you know documenting. But anyways once I stamp 13 we can move on to day 14. Okay, let's move on to day 14. I believe day 14 was dessert, and of course, I'm gonna be documenting atayif. Atayif is a dessert that we eat throughout Ramadan. It is one of my favorites. It's literally like little pancakes, but they're better than pancakes, by the way, and you um, stuff them with cheese or nuts, and it's so yummy. And then you kind of sprinkle on top either sugar, powdered sugar, or sugar syrup, but it's so good and I'm going to be documenting it. What I decided to do was stamp this was so good and I believe I stamped best part of the meal because literally this is what I wait for every day and I just stamped it on my plate. I'm going to stick down my photo and then I'm going to start working on the opposite side. Now I had pulled out a bunch of pattern paper just thinking maybe I'll use these in my traveler's notebook and I really love this one with the triangles and I thought maybe I can trim them out and add them to the smaller TN. I know that paper is much bigger and it would have worked perfectly if I had a bigger spread, 
but I'm going to make it work. I end up trimming the smaller orange one and then the peachy one. And I will actually trim it to fit both sides of my spread. So it's going to go from one side of my layout to the other. And I actually really, really like how it looks. I even trim out the green one thinking I might use it, but I end up not using it. So I like how they're sitting on my spread, so I'm gonna go ahead and stick them down. And then I'm gonna start working on my title. If you've been watching my Ramadan journal, I have been trying to keep it cohesive as much as possible. So I'll add a title, I'll add the journal number, for the day, just to keep things you know, flowing throughout the Traveler's Notebook. So I'm gonna actually use uh, Carrie Bradford's alphas here. I think these are called Willow, if I'm not mistaken. And I'm gonna use those to stamp out dessert in the bottom corner. And these stamps, like these alpha stamps, you can stamp them next to each other so you don't have to stamp each letter separately. You can get them pretty close. So what I was doing was adding them to my paper, then picking them up with my stamp block, inking them up, and then stamping it. It's really simple, it's really easy. I recommend that you do a few letters at a time because it gets really hard to get them all straight and perfect. I just do two or three letters at a time, stamp them together, and then do the next. And I find it to be much easier and faster for me. So once I'm done stamping dessert, I'm gonna grab a Feed Your Craft stamp set and it had Let's Eat. This was a foodie themed stamp set. So I'm gonna stamp Let's Eat. I actually use it multiple times on this spread. I think it was the same stamp set that I used to stamp on my photo or directly on my photo. I also will be stamping the best, trimming it out and adding it to my top triangle just to break down the harshness of the lines and I'll also stamp dessert right underneath the best. Now what I thought I would do was add some stickers just to break this down a little bit and while I like literally grabbed my drawer I found the first sheet and it had numbers I thought this was perfect to actually document my favorite desserts of Ramadan. So I'm going to use that sticker and as you can see it goes from 1 to 5. I'm going to add that in that empty white space and that's where I will be documenting my favorite desserts of Ramadan. I also grabbed my have to bowl which I still call have to bowl but it's actually a have to tray now. But I'm going to try to find something that works and I found this orange yummy. So I'm going to add that to my photo just to bring in some of the orange from the right side. And then I'm going to finish up this spread by stamping 14 on this circle label from Studio Calico. Oh, and I think I actually also stamp uh, Super Tasty right next to Dessert just because it's the perfect stamp to stamp next to it. And then I call day 14 done and we can move on to day 15. So day 15 was tradition. Now I could have documented any traditions we have throughout Ramadan or Eid or whatever the case is, but the first thing that came to mind that I've never documented is how I will search the internet or go shopping for a new outfit for Eid, either for myself or my kids. It's a no-brainer. Every year I get something new for myself and the kids. Now this year, my kids were not really interested. You know, they're older and they're like, mm, I have plenty of clothes. I'll just wear something nice for Eid, whatever the case is. And I thought to myself, maybe I'll buy myself something. But it was so weird. Um, things were happening and I was just not feeling it with shopping at all. I don't know. I think it might be just the year. But I ended up like 
uh, sticking to these four or thinking I'm going to get these four and I ended up not even buying anything. Honestly, I just wore something from my closet for Eid. But anyways, I still wanted to document that tradition that we did not do this year, being honest, you guys. Anyways, I ended up loving this pattern paper. I trimmed it down. I stamped Eid and then outfit in a little shopping bag. That stamp set is from Everyday Explorers. I think it's called Outfit of the Day, if I'm not mistaken. And then I stamped Retail Therapy in the corner. Now I'm using my puffy stickers to add a little something to my photo. I found a shirt in blue and then added a red heart. I think that looked really cute and it fit perfectly to, for what I'm documenting. I'm using a label sticker to stamp number 15 for day 15. And I'm going to leave the rest empty because I will take this to my typewriter, add my journaling. So I'm actually not even going to stick this down in my traveler's notebook until I take it to my typewriter and add my journaling. And then I believe I call my layout done. Very simple, very easy. There's, you know, not much to do with the spread because I'm going to be adding a lot of journaling. But anyways, you guys, that is it. I'm finished with my first TN. We'll be starting in the second one very soon and hopefully sharing the rest of this project with you. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. And I hope to see you guys very soon. Bye.